Okay, let's get started. This is the um, event you've been waiting for, the essay. Some of you have already had a good start of on it. Some of you are still struggling a little. I wrote you special notes um, on your discussion post. Excuse me, on your um, yeah, on your discussion post. So when you look at the feedback for that, please read what I said. Um, if you did not have a thesis, you could not get more than seven points. You have to have a thesis for this paper to work. And I have wrote um, questions and ideas maybe to help you narrow that thesis down. So the essay, let's give an overview of what you're looking for. Um, you're going to have at least um, three paragraphs of support an opening paragraph that includes the thesis and a concluding paragraph that summarizes your points. So that's at least five paragraphs. Now, you might have more than five par three paragraphs of support. If so, then you can include it. There's no, I'm not going to say, oh, don't, don't. But don't make your paper so long that you, um, you don't have to, you know, include more than three paragraphs, but if you have them, go ahead and use them. Um, some of you are going to be able just to get the three paragraphs done in time. Now, let's get down on a lower level. Um, you're going to be developing paragraphs for support, and to do that, you're going to have to have the point, the illustration, which is from Vance and from your research, and you have to explain why this I fits this P. You can't just have point and, ev and uh, illustration, got to have that evidence. And notice your essay is the same way that intro is the P, these paragraphs are I's, and the conclusion is an E that sums up everything. Okay, now, after you have, the first thing you should do when writing the essay, sit down and write it. Don't get hung up with getting in your support the way you want it. Don't get hung up on, um, you know, making your citations are okay. Just write the paper, okay? Then work at your pair, or look at the paper to see if you have these things. If not, then you've got to start edi editing on a global basis. You have to go back and make sure from that first draft that you've got all those things. Then you have to look at each paragraph for the PIE. And then you have to look at each sentence. Notice how I'm breaking this down from a global view of the essay to a fine-tuning of, of sentence and later into word. In sentence, you want to make sure it's a complete sentence. If you're having trouble with that, I would suggest you go to the Writ Center and have them talk to you about complete sentences. Not too many of you are having trouble with it, so don't go, oh my goodness. Um, I've pointed it out to you if it's a problem. Secondly, make sure your sentences don't sound awkward. Sometimes when using out quotes from the outside and you read it, it goes... It, it, it's hard to write it. It's, it's sometimes jumbled up. I know at least when I was writing my dissertation and I was trying to use sources, sometimes my sentence turned out to be a nightmare. Um, so I had to go back and I had to fix that. Now you're thinking, well, how do I know if my sentences are okay? What you want to do at this point is read your paper from the bottom to the top. What you want to do is take those sentences kind of out of context by reading them from the bottom to the top. And you'll e it's more easy to see, more easy, it's easier to see that it's complete and that it makes sense. Because if you read it out of context and you're going, hi, I don't know what that means, then that means you have to change it. You have to make it a better sentence. And yes, you have to do it with every sentence. And the same with every word. Some of you, um, in your paragraphs that you placed on uh, the discussion board, um, slipped in using um, a more colloquial language than an academic language. And yes, you need to go through 
word by word by word and make sure that they are words that are um, accepted in the academic community. Due dates. The essay is due Friday, so you're thinking, wait a minute, and you're going to upload it to the discussion board, and you're going, but if it's due Friday, how in the world am I going to be able to um, reply in time? Well, the replies aren't due till next Tuesday. We have a, a shortened week next week with Thanksgiving, and so um, I just move those replies to Tuesday. You will not receive any comments on the essays from me till probably after Thanksgiving. Um, but I will be giving comments on the essays to everybody. Um, if you notice, you are going to, let me go out of here. You are going to, I'm in the other class, sorry about that. Um, You are going to um, put this in the Dropbox, and then you're going to take the same file, and you're going to upload it to the discussion board as an attachment. Now, notice the attachment's a department from the, war, from the norm, but use it as an attachment because you'll be using track changes to make comments. And... I didn't put up the tracks changes video, but I will, and that you'll see what that is and what you need to do. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. Um, and good luck writing your essays, and let me know what you need help with.